What's up, YouTube? My name is Aggie H2 owned, and this is probably my fifth commentary. I never script these out, so it, they're all just topics that come straight to my mind. And um, I got one from the other day, so I've been thinking about it, and I'm going to talk about it now. So I think di like the little kid Disney movies are depressing. If you go back and watch them as an like as a teenager or an adult, they're not that much fun childhood movies. They're pretty depressing. I mean, I was watching, um, the, how this all got started was I was watching, um, Lion King the other day. And I was on ABC Family, and I was skipping through the channels, and I saw it on. So I'm like, hell yeah, I'm watching my own favorite children's movie of all time, The Lion King. So, as I'm going, watching this, yeah, his father dies. His uncle blames him for it. And he goes into, like, a fucking depression. And just all the... Disney movies. I mean, I've been wa I've thought about are actually really depressing. Like Finding Nemo. Um, husband loses his wife while the ki eggs are still being are still cooking, and then has to raise one as a single father. And the kid has a disability too, his little stubby fin. And then he loses his son, and just he feels like a bad father. And as you look back and watch these movies now, they're they're not those fun-filled adventure movies. And I just mean. It makes me feel sad now, watching those, knowing that my childhood memories are actually really depressing movies. And I just mean, Toy Story is one of the biggest, especially Toy Story 3. I mean, I, I saw that in theaters, yeah. I was like, alright, I need to finish my childhood trilogy now. Because, I mean, I had, a buzzed, I had a Buzz doll, I had a Woody doll. I think, I think I even had a piggy bank, and I just called the pig. And the piggy bank pig, Ham. I think his name is Ham, and I was just like, this is Ham! And just all those things. And then I go watch that movie, and I'm just like, the to spoiler alert if you haven't seen that movie already. Um, the toys nearly die at the end, and they're all like embracing death together and everything. And I'm just like, what the fuck? This is a kid's movie! And I just mean, I felt so sad watching that. I'm like, this is not what my childhood was. And I mean, he's give Andy has to give his toys away because he's going to college. And I just mean, watching that is just so freaking depressing. And um, other like hidden stuff in those movies, um, like Dalmat, um, 101 Dalmatians. I'm an idiot, and I just realized this, but Cruella Deville. Her name means cruel devil pretty much and I was just like it hit me one day and I'm like wow I'm an idiot for just now getting that but I mean like that little kind of stuff they they, they just kind of subliminally put in their movies and then you think about it and it's just so depressing and I, I keep saying that word and I just mean I feel sad now watching those movies some of them are more upbeat others are just Oh my god, just, they they teach life lessons in them and everything, but I just mean, a child would never get that, and um, that's enough on that topic. Another topic that happened yesterday was my uh, good friend I play with on Xbox, Pornography, that gamer tag got banned, because um, three little kids kind of told their parents that they thought it said pornography, and then the parents actually called Xbox Live to get it banned, and they called them afterwards, or not. Well, the parents messaging him on Xbox Live saying that we think your gamer tag is rude, disrespectful for an unmature audience playing Xbox Live. And my friend's just like, and I, and before he even sent the part where he's about to tell me, I was just like, what the fuck? These kids are under the age of like 13 and they're playing Modern Warfare 3. Why are you going to complain about some kid's fucking gamer tag when they probably hear a lot worse through the chat? And it's an M rated game, you're not supposed to have it till you're 17. And that's what sucks. I'll go into a random tangent about that in a minute. Um, but yeah, like he said, I met. He said he messaged the parents saying, "Why do you even have your kids having a M-rated game? And then you're gonna complain to me that my gamer tag is inappropriate? It's kind of stupid." And I mean, I thought of that, and I'm just like, "Wow." But yeah, speaking of the. Uh, um, I'm rated games. I want to go to the Halo 4 and probably Black Ops Midnight releases, and unfortunately, I'm only 16, which means I'm gonna have to grab a friend to go with me, cause my parents would never do that. And um, yeah, I have really protective parents, even though they're like, 
let me buy this shit to try doing this when they complain about me playing Xbox too much. Going on a tangent again. Anyways, um, but yeah. And, uh, fuck, I just completely blanked out. I told you I'm doing this live and shit. And, um, oh yeah, just, I'm thinking, thinking of random shit. My friend from swimming looks and sounds like Optic Predator. He looks like Logan Kielsing and sounds like Logan Kielsing. I'm sorry if I butchered um, Optic Predator's name, but I just mean he looked and sounded like him, and I'm just like, dude, you don't know who I'm talking about. And um, other lookalikes from YouTube I've seen are um, a lifeguard at the pool one time looked exactly like Tabes. The red hair, beard, hair, and everything. Except for the Swedish accent. Unfortunately, he had no Swedish accent. But I just mean he looked exactly like him. And I look over to my friend who um, plays Xbox. Like the only other one at swimming who does. I'm like, do you think I drowned? Um, Tabes, Tabes would save me? And he looks at me he's like, no. And I'm just like, oh. And then... That right afterwards, we went up to Olive Garden, and one of the waiters looked like Hutch. And it was during um, Hutch's little couple-month hiatus when he was going through depression and everything. And I'm just like, oh, my God, I've seen Hutch and Tabes in the same day. This is awesome. <laughs> Who am I going to see next? I want to see Woody's Gamer Tag and shit like that. And I am. Um, all right, so I've probably got, like, another minute into this gameplay I've got recorded. This is, by the way, my first gameplay I recorded with my PVR. So, sorry about the beginning and the, um, how it, I don't have the full countdown. I have a little sketchy setup. Um, and so, coming near the end here, yeah, the gameplay is not the most beautiful, but I had fun doing it, and that's what the kind of gameplay I'm going to post on my channel is what I have fun doing. It's not about the greatest score. I mean, I want to keep a positive score and a winning game in here, and that's about my only, um, things for this. Um, standards for my gameplay and have fun and go positive which I think is what it should be because we alright and I'll keep that for another commentary I'm, I'm seeing the time is going to wrap it up alright give me a like sub and um, again GFX peace I am out